हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू कैसे हैं आप आई होप दैट यू विल बी फाइन हेल्दी एंड सेफ एट यूनिव प्लेसेस सो वी आर इंटरेक्टिंग आफ्टर गैप ऑफ फाइव टू सिक्स मंथ्स एंड फ्रॉम टू डे ऑनवर्ड्स आई एम स्टार्टिंग योर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑल इन योर न्यू क्लास बी एस ए सेकेंड ईयर एंड ये स्टर्ड डे आई पोस्टेड द सिलेबस टू यू and i hope that you might have gone through the syllabus and now you are familiar with your core courses and your skill enhancement courses today i am going to start your core course having code chem 202 and in this course also i am starting with the physical chemistry portion and physical chemistry portion involves topics chemical energetics and equilibrium and i am starting with chemical energetics and it is contained in section c of this book so before coming on to the topic i am starting with a very fundamental term energy we all are familiar with this term and energy is a very vital manifestation of nature entire universe is driven by the energy and energy is flowing from one part of the universe to the other part of the universe in the form of light or in the form of other radiations and on the earth we know that sun is the ultimate source of energy and in sun also the energy produced or the heat energy produced as a result of nuclear fusion is transmitted on to the earth in the form of light and that light energy is responsible for the existence of life on the earth all the physical chemical and biological processes which are taking place on the earth are due to this energy and further we know that all these processes whether it is physical chemical or biological they are accompanied by the absorption or the evolution of heat and uh, i am explaining with example first example is burning of coal burning of coal or burning of lpg or any combustion process it results in the evolution of heat or evolution of energy second example is working of heat engine so working of a heat engine requires energy energy or the chemical energy stored in the petrol or diesel is converted into heat and that heat is running the piston of the engine and that makes the vehicle move and when we move from one place to another energy is required even the photosynthesis of plant in plants also proceeds with the evolution of energy so all these processes are accompanied by the evolution or the absorption of energy so what i'm trying to say that it is the energy which is running the entire universe and some people who worship the god they worship god in the form of light because as i explained that the light energy coming from the sun is basically useful or basically used to sustain the life on the earth now i'm discussing another topic that is thermodynamics So this word, in this word, the word thermo, word thermo means heat, and the word dynamics means motion of heat resulting in the mechanical work. That is motion or movement of heat. 
motion or movement of heat resulting in resulting in mechanical work. So thermodynamics literally means that is the conversion of heat energy into mechanical work or the vice versa. But now the thermodynamics is used in a much broader or much wider sense. Now it includes every form of energy which is either evolved or absorbed during the various physical, chemical or biological processes. For example, electrical energy which is due to the motion of electron. Chemical energy, the energy stored in all form of substances. Kinetic energy, that is energy possessed by virtue of motion. Radiant energy, that is light energy as I have already explained. And potential energy, which is possessed by a system by virtue of its position. And sometimes I ask my students, what is potential energy? And they define it. They define it properly that energy possessed by virtue of the position is called as potential energy. But when I ask them that how you will explain that the position of a system that determines its energy, then they are unable to explain. So that's why I'm explaining it that how the position of a system is responsible for its energy. Example which I am taking is that is water stored in a dam. For example, this is dam and the water level is at this much height. The water level is at this much height and the energy stored in the in this water will be equal to mgh because the potential energy depends upon the height. So this means that this is the energy possessed by virtue of the position of water at this particular level. And if the water level goes down, then it comes to this level, then the height decreases. This means that potential energy again decreases. What does it mean? It means that energy or other potential energy, it depends upon the position. Here, the potential, when the position of water was this, energy was high. And now the position of water is this, energy is low. Likewise, energy in a bound spring. So when a spring is bound in this way, then it has a high amount of energy stored in it. And when it is not bound, it is in expanded form. then energy will be less. So the air also, the energy is depending upon position of the spring, whether it is in bounded form or it is in extended form. So that this is how that the position of a system determines the energy. And all forms of energy can be converted into heat. Every form of energy can be converted into heat. You have seen electrical energy being converted into heat in electric bulbs where the electrical energy is converted into heat and light. You have seen the chemical energy stored in petrol is converted into heat in the heat engines. So likewise every form of energy can be converted into heat. And we can quantitatively measure it that this much amount of energy a particular type of energy will produce this much amount of heat. So now we can define the thermodynamics in a way that thermodynamics is a branch of science which deals with the quantitative relationship between the heat and the various forms of energy. But here we are studying chemistry. So when we confine our study to the chemical substances and the chemical changes or energy evolved or absorbed during the chemical processes, then this restricted branch of thermodynamics is called as 
chemical thermodynamics or the chemical energetics. So this was a very small introduction of your first chapter chemical energetics. So I hope that you might have understood what is chemical energetics and uh, what is its definition and I am going to upload this video on YouTube and I hope that you will watch it. I will share the link with you and you will subscribe to my channel. You will like it. You will uh, share it with your friends also. And if the audio quality is not good because I am uh, shooting this video without any mic. So you can use your headphones for the better quality. And I will be having the headphones within two or three days. Then the video quality will be, uh, will be improved. So thank you very much and uh, uh, for watching my video. And uh, in my next video, I am going to I am going to continue further with my topic uh, scope and uh, objectives of chemical thermodynamics. Thank you very much.